Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the yeah, Raised in Baseball YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Mind Bat. Mind Bat, and Mind Bat is made from European Beach. European Beach is not a very popular, uh, well known species of wood for wood bats, but it's becoming more and more popular. So if you look at some of the studies that have been published, some of the studies will tell you that it is a denser wood than maple and more flexible than beech and birch. So it kind of combines the best of both worlds. So for a long time, people poo-pooed on birch because they... They take a while to break in. You have to break them in. And the sound doesn't sound very good in the beginning. But once you do break them in, they sound very, very good and they have a ton of pop. So for the longest time, it, the only bats that were being used in the league were ash bats. Then comes berry bonds and sand bat. Sand bat creates maple and bonds goes nuts on... Um, with maple um, bats from runs. sand bats, lots of home runs. And so everyone starts adopting uh, maple because ash flakes um, kind of deteriorates over time. And you can go through a bunch of bats with ash because it flakes off. Mm -hmm. It makes, the, it separates in the grains. So uh, then introduced uh, comes, comes uh, then comes birch into the mix because you have the ash borer uh, and so ash kind of goes by the wayside, maple still in there, strong, and birch comes into play. But there was a long standing pushback on birch for the longest time. And I think that's what you're seeing sometimes with uh, this beech wood is that uh, people don't want to try a new species. They're like, oh, it's never going to be certified or whatever it is. Um, but there's, it's pretty hot bat, man. It's you've, very hot. You've had some really good success with it. Um, I've used their fungos. Their fungos are able to, <clears throat> you're able to hit the ball really far effortlessly. Um, the one thing that they are doing is they're changing up uh, some of the cupping that they've had over the years. Back when it was an Italian company, MindBat used to be an Italian company, uh, it would come and it would have like an Italian flag on the knob, uh, kind of a, a cool little deal that they had there. Now it says, you know, this is the balanced EL 33 inch bat. But um, back in the day, it was made in Italy, from Italy. And their cupping, their cupping dude, was, it was in order for youth that long. In order to hit the youth bats, they would hollow out the cupping like down into here, and of course it's going to break. I had it. <laughs> we had this bat. It was a 32 inch bat at the time. I was like eight or nine, and I got it and I was hitting off the machine. And my dad was like, "I give it 10 swings." So I took one round, and at the end of that one round, it cracked three places. So comes in and a new company out of Texas, Texas picks it up and runs with the brand. So, completely new company, same brand, completely new company, same wood, but different technologies, different ways of curing, finishing, cupping, and that's what we're talking about here is the, the new Mind Bat that's been around for about a year and a half, two years, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and they're going after it. They've got uh, quite a few models. They've got end loaded, they've got balanced, they've got um, balanced and loaded, so you have all different lengths and feels and they have tons of stuff so <clears throat> the sound is uh i'd say it's like birch like with birch you take however many cuts 250 300 500 however many cuts and then it starts to get that really really loud crack and with this one i feel like it's not as bad as birch with birch it's like Sounds like a wet newspaper for the first 300. And this one, I feel like you actually get some crack if you hit it, uh, if you hit it well. But I feel like you do have to break it in a little bit, just like a birch bat. So it, it like birch thuds, it's like thud, like that's a wet noodle. It's but, so bad. Um, the interesting thing about like the, the mine bat is they have what they used to call a soft touch, a soft touch finish. And I don't know if it's just the way the, the wood sands out, meaning sands out. Um, but it feels really s like smooth and silky on your hand. Yeah. And sometimes you got to have like so add some stick to it. Yeah. For me, I had a little bit of a problem with it. Like if it would be really good if you just had like just your hands, like you didn't have batting gloves That's on. That's what I do. But for me, I wear batting gloves, so it, it was like really slippery. So I put a little bit of pine tar on there, and it was good. But on this one, I decided to go with a grip. And so for the guys that go barehanded, right, with with swinging a bat. This thing feels awesome, man. 
So really cool, soft touch. I don't know if it's the wood finish or actual finish of the, the bat itself. Um, on this one, you can see that they've changed, like you've got soft touch here, and this is more of a painted or, or, or coated barrel. Uh, there's a significant line right here. The only thing I wish that Mayan bat would do, and we talked about it, is <clears throat> this looks like it's painted on or maybe baked on or something inside the finish because it doesn't chip away. It doesn't feel like it's separate from, separate from the actual uh, bat itself. It doesn't feel like, oh, you can peel it away or it feels like it's a vinyl stick or anything like that. Uh, it feels like it's coated on top, like everything's smoothly coated. My fingernail doesn't hit on anything, so it doesn't feel like it's a raised sticker or anything like that. It doesn't feel like it's paint. But I do wish that they would engrave that. Now, that could just be my personal preference because more traditional, more I think it school. would look better. If you like did the same white color but it was engraved, I think it would look better. Yeah. And so typically what they do is they take an engraving, they score out a little bit of the barrel, take some paint, wipe it, and then it's done. Then you put your final sealing on it and it, it looks good. So <clears throat> anyways, this is the Mind Bat Balanced and Loaded. So you have a slightly end loaded uh, barrel or extra long barrel. Um, but it's pretty, pretty cool bat. Feels good when you swing it. Pretty dense billet, it feels like. So make sure you check them out. Um, Mine bats. And they have a bunch of different tapers that you can choose from. But go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm a big fan of the natural. Uh, no paints, no nothing. Because I think the wood looks awesome, feels awesome. And it's a, it's a pretty cool bat to try out and check out. The pricing's pretty good. It's very aggressive on the pricing, meaning you can get into one of these bats pretty inexpensively. So uh, definitely if you're looking for a bat uh, and don't want to spend a lot of money on it, like a crazy amount of money on it, this is a great option to uh, take a look at and swing. And then if you have used a mine bat in the last two years, mind you, remember what we talked about prior to the Texas company buying mine bat, the problems that they were around They've fixed all those problems and they are really hungry for business. Uh, they're doing a great job of <clears throat> trying to give the, uh, the baseball players what they actually want. They're always soliciting feedback on how to improve. So um, they're a hungry company. They're going after it. They're a Texas local company. So that's really cool too. Uh, so check them out, MindBats. If you all have any questions about them, drop them in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all that. And I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. European Beach. See ya.